media. Goik media, we're bringing the world closer to your doorstep. Yeah, I'm 
Thank you very much once again. Without wasting too much time, we're going through the news review. Uh, we are very sorry you won't be seeing um, the work today. Um, we'll just be reading for you, for you from the background. And we are very sorry, we are very sorry because of some certain glitch. So thank you very much. Thank you for joining us. Just in, terrorists attack Kaduna community. Terrorists in the early hours of Saturday launched a, a fresh attack on the Dongo Noma community in the Kaju local government area of Kaduna State. The attack came barely three days after one person was killed and eight women were kidnapped in the Banono and, and Guaku community of the same local government. Uh, this is getting out of hand. Uh, U.S. Assistant Secretary of State Satterfield to visit Nigeria on Sunday. Hmm. Olubadon played major role in Nigeria's political development. Chief Dr. Sunday Adeyemwebo and when he was so yeah. Chief Sunday Adeyemwebo when he pay Oba Naughty Ribadon. Kabiesi, uh, Oba he played a major role in Nigeria's political development. Chief Sunday Adeyemwebo, Yoruba activist, popularly called Sunday, on Friday, said the legacies of the late Olubadon of Ibadolan 
uh about okay, late but my watch and uh this is what we're saying on point we are very sorry for describing the uh cabbage as the late king uh may so rest in peace about about what i know about okay. uh of ballet combalo in nigeria politics and the development of ibadan will remain enduring Obabalo who reigned for two years, joined his ancestors on Thursday at the University College Hospital in Badon, or your state, the state capital, after a brief illness. Mr. Adeyemo, Adeyemo Ebo, in a condolence message made available to the punch in Ibadan, noted that the late monarch's... Uh, I don't know why they are describing the monarch as late. The monarch's reign attracted growth to his domain. He added that Obabalogun drew global attention to Ibadan. He wrote, There is no doubt in the fact that the late, that the Ulubanon played a significant role in the nation's political development before and during senatorial district, district in the National Assembly between June 3rd, 1999 and June 3, 2003. Apart from his politi politics from 1983, which centered of on, on human capital development. We are very sorry. Obabalogun's interest in sustaining and protecting Yoruba traditional heritage and institution endeared him to many irrespective of religious and political inclinations. His reign for only two years witnessed more economic and infrastructure development of Badoland. Thus, drawing more significant attention to the historical city in the global space. His death came at a time when his wealth of experience and management capability are needed most in the states, in particular in Nigeria as a whole. I personally condole with his immediate family, relatives, our amiable governor, Shei Makinde, former governor of the state, Rashidi Ladoja, Olubadon in council, the indigenous of Ibadan, the Ibadan land as a whole, and stakeholders, and other stakeholders on the passage of our river royal father the so recipes that that's the statement coming from chief doctor sunday at the more ago oh sha oh baba dami uh may the soul of the deceased king rest in peace and i don't have fun uh kabi siwati uh that's the best way to sing on the corner of the machine UN calls for united action to combat rising Islamophobia. The United Nations has called for combined action to combat, um, to combat rising Islamophobia, which is happening in the world now. Without wasting too much time, uh, let's go to the other news, uh, newspaper today. This is Punch. The rest of you can be seeing the web today because of some glitch we're experiencing today. Thank you very much for joining us once again. Koi Kim Media bring you the watch room after your doorstep. Suspected cultists kill man in River State. Uh, we don't know why cultists, cultists, cultists things coming up in River State. Uh, where we take phones uh, road. Federal government's demand for grazing lands with worsening security says Middle Belt Group. The Middle Belt Group has, 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 has said that the demand of uh, grazing routes for Fulani men, the terrorists, Fulani terrorists, will just worsen the insecurity. They should rather uh, drive them you know, away from. You know, so that's what the Middle Belt says. So let's continue. This is just coming up to 12 18 pm Saturday, uh, 16th of March 2024. This is a test transmission on Quake Media newspaper review weekend edition. Thank you very much for joining us once again.
UK police arrest teenager caught assaulting black boy in viral video. A video is already trending. The Cumbria police in the United Kingdom have confirmed the arrest of a white teenage boy who was captured in a viral video assaulting a black schoolboy in Kalisu. The incident was said to have happened at St. John Henry News Newman Catholic School in Kalisu. In the video, the white teen is the black schoolboy and ordered him to kiss his shoes. In a statement posted on his Facebook page on Saturday, the Cumbria, the Cumbria police wrote, We can confirm officers have arrested a teenage boy in relation to a report of an eighth incident involving a boy being assaulted in Kalizu. Officers are aware of images relating to this incident being circulated online and concerns in the community over the incident. As an arrest has been made, we would urge people not to share the video further so as not to impede any le legal proceedings or to identify any of the children involved. Uh, let's play the video. This uh, is just 20 seconds. You can only hear the background voice. You can't see the video on the screen. We are very sorry for that because of the copyright. And so they're going to get us blocked. Thank you very much. Can only listen to you. So I'm not sure this, this is going to be right now. So uh, a black boy was assaulted yesterday in the United Kingdom, but uh, let's go out of that. Let's go to the next newspaper without wasting too much time. Official says, okay, this was um, 22 hours ago. Official say a Russian missile attack on Odessa uh uh attack a russian missile attack on the in southern ukraine has killed at least 14 people and injured 46 others they are so rest in peace we will be welcome to an end because uh you know there is no more peace in this world but we hope peace come back to the world we want peace everywhere we must be peaceful we are the one game making this life a hellfire for people uh just of everything gets back to normal in this world fuller new kidnappers spread abduct q corps resident in delta state hmm. on january 24 rampaging government kidnappers suspected to be full and near that this is coming on vanguard newspaper abducted to the police officers Detailed to respond to a distress call in Delta State. The authorities drafted the police officers at a nipping point in her horror community, Ugeli North Local Government, to rescue one Moses Progress, who raised the alarm after alleged cattle men robbed him while performing a sacrifice to the gods of the river under a bridge. You know, how can you be performing a, a sacrifice to, to the gods and a flan is going come to come and attack you? Flanny is making to come and attack you, and you can't even, you know, <laughs> we are not condoning crime. We are also sorry for saying it, but uh, let's continue. The police that were drafted to the scene were also kidnapped by the Fulani as men, according to what we are reading on Vanguard newspaper today at 12 22 p.m., Saturday, 16th of March 2024. The police played down the kidnap, but weeks later, deployed police officers from the force headquarters. Abuja and Delta State Police Command to rescue the TD officers. Unfortunately, the killer headers ambushed and killed nine of the police officers on a rescue mission at Agadama community. They abducted over 15 others. One police officer succeeded in escaping from the Esmen. Esmen kidnapped police. What a hell country. Again, the police made light of the imprudence, but tension escalated in Port half one or horror a gadama in where kidnap a cube a cube bomb and other affected communities all in ugeli nonsuka government area with the latest recovery of the decomposite corpses of the police officers oh my god we are so rest in peace oh, oh, oh. Uh, a combined team of security agents and the local vigilantes 
in Ugali North Local Government Area recovered the remains of six slaughtered police officers, drafted intelligence response team, IHLT, Abuja Police Mobile Force, PMF, 51 Ogara, and anti kidnapping squad Asaba. This is the act of terrorism. Fulani's men are disturbing everybody all across Nigeria, and their leaders also created vigilante for them so that they will, listen, they will continue to protect them as they continue to disturb people living a peaceful life in Nigeria. Um, way why Bully Badejo, I mean, Bello Badejo, the uh, Fulani leader has been arrested and charged for terrorism. Uh, we reported that on our page uh, before the end of the week. The epidemic of kidnapping by successful and men in the state is not restricted to the Uwerian Kingdom, but they seem to have a strong foothold in the area, according to Vanguard Investigations. Last December and early this year, ransom demanding Fulani kidnappers two co-stages in Abraka, Ethiopia, Ethiopia East local government area, Ukwani and Indo Indokra West local government areas, Abavo clan, he cannot local east local government uh, he cannot east local government area and the other local government areas that is delta state we are sorry um the uh relation of the local government area in the above clan only they abducted six persons including the divisional police officer dpo in the area asking for and taking ransom before they free them the kidnappers have their kingpins who control the respective gangs with complex linkage around the bushes of the state. The balance provide the the banner, I mean the banner provide the weapons, fund the operations, and intervene through their highly placed security contacts hmm, to secure the release of their boys whenever they, they whenever they pick them. They know and understand the topography and forest of many communities in the state where they have hideouts. Hmm. An operational basis more than the natives. From Ozoro, Onicha, Okwani, Ibanke, Obraka, Ohoro, uh, Obiaruku, and Ibusa in Delta State to Uhonigbe in Edo State, the Fulani kidnapping kingpins have their noses on the ground. A syndicate operates in Abraka to the railway to Obiaruku, Abavo, Idumwesa, and Owa Lero up to up to Agbo Expressway, with the members quartered at a forest camp a few kilometers from Agbo. The financiers of the syndicates live in cities outside the state. Their foot soldiers are the ones that reside temporarily in the forest in the state. There is a syndicate in charge of the Ozoro Indoka houses and another that operates in the Uwaren houses comprising Ohoro and Agadama groups. Hmm. This is the, uh, they are already revealing the operation of the Fulani as men in Delta State in some local government there. Okay, let's continue. Security agencies, including the army and police, appear from our findings to be working at cross purpose as some, office, as some officers leak security information on the movement of operational teams to kidnappers at huge amounts. Two police officers who lead strategic units in the Delta State Police Command colluded in the past with an influential Fulani leader in Asaba. Hmm. The state capital to, um, to release two kidnapped lynchpins, lynchpins from police custody. Hmm. Last month, the residents of a Kyubo community in Ugali North Local Government march the streets march the streets to the palace of the ov traditional ruler of the Ugeli kingdom his royal majesty dr wilson or jacobo or harisi the third to protest the activities of the kidnappers and some police officers allegedly conniving with hunters in the area the president general of the ecubo community Kwame bernard baker Name the police officer and hunter as masterminds of the criminal activities in the community. Delta, Delta State Police Public Relations Officer, PPRO, DC, DSP Bright Edafe, dismissed the allegation of conspiracy against the police by the villagers, saying the police were diligently carrying, carrying out their duties in the area. 
However, the criminal undertakings in Ugei North are not as simplistic as the police have made it to look like. Uh, we're making this available on our website, and you can go and read it later on uh, to know what has been happening in Delta State and how police has been showing the full and men. Uh, though the um, PPRO Price and Affair dismissed the allegation. Uh, Tinubu says we are deploying resources to impact lives of Nigerians. Uh, how has your life been impact in Nigeria? You can just tell us that. 95 year old man sneaks into varsity hostel, um, into female varsity hostel in Kano State. A 35 year old man is sneaked into a into female varsity hostel in Kano State. We became courtists to protect our mothers from assault by their lovers, suspects say. Uh, the, the suspected courtists that were arrested in River State said they had to join courtists because they wanted to protect their mothers from assault by their lovers. You know, that is what they call supremacy in Nigeria. Uh, supremacy is, 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 is common. Ghana High Commissioner to Nigeria, Bawa, is dead. May so rest in peace. Uh, we don't know. Uh, we don't know why. We keep uh, losing. Ambassador La Rawide Bawa is dead. He died on Thursday, March 14, in Abuja, age 65. Ambassador Bawa's body was flown back to Ghana's Kajebi Hotel region on Friday for burial in accordance with Islamic rights. May so rest in peace. Ghana High Commissioner to Nigeria uh, has died. Gumi fought use of force on kidnappers of Kaduna pupils. This Gumi, eh? <laughs> uh, controversial Islamic cleric Sheikh Ahmad Guni has again faulted the federal government on the continued use of force or kinetic means to secure the release of victims of kidnapping, especially the 287 people and teachers recently abducted from a school in Kaduna State. Hmm. Gumi spoke on um, Arise TV and was blaming the federal government for fighting terrorism, fighting terrorists who have voted almost 300 people in a Kaduna state. Hey, that is that is that is that is too you know, it's too absurd. Nigeria treasury must be protected from looters. Tinubu says. More hardships for Nigerians as inflation's e inflation eats that one point seven percent worse in twenty eight years. We will be making this available on our news uh, website. Students kidnaps to students kidnap. Tomorrow's leaders are now lead today's target by kidnappers. Mm. That's that that that's too absurd. Too absurd. Let's go to the next. Uh, let's go to Daily Trust newspaper. Seventy-two hours. Nigerian Republic prevents entry on Castina Jigawa borders. As uh, some two hours after Nigeria open border with Nigerian Republic, Nigeria Republic, I'm in Okojani border. Let's continue on uh daily trust and super before we end this broadcast we're not going too much we're very sorry uh this is a new season once again quite came with having the work that we just take we are very sorry we can't see the world today too much because but i'm very sure our voice is coming out because we can listen to the feedback here why newspapers should not report suicides how could this be <laughs> This is coming on daily trust. They are giving reasons why newspapers should not report suicide. If you don't report suicide, you know. Oluba don't bear it. Tinubu, Obasanjo, others, more. Hmm. Uh, I think that's all on daily trust. We can't go too much. Uh, before we end this, bro this broadcast, Let's go and check world newspapers. Uh, let's let's check let's check Reuters. Let's check um, AP, uh, Associated Press. Let's check 
world newspaper and know what is going on around the world also around the globe within just 10 minutes and we'll talk about urbanization in 10 minutes also and we end the broadcast fully for today um, have a very beautiful weekend quick media bring the world close out to your doorstep thank you very much this is a and test transmission we appreciate your trust and support continue to support us on quick media and we continue to bring the world close to your doorstep Attack on Pakistan military post kills five security force members. Military says two killed in shelling of Russian borders. Border city Belgorod. Governor says Malaysia Central Bank says Google misquoted exchange rate a second time. Turn around immediately. Taiwan warns off China Chinese Coast Guard. Taiwan warns off Chinese Coast Guard boat again as tensions simmer. Taiwan and China, they are, there is tension building in uh, between uh, China and Taiwan. As you can know, uh, the West are behind this. But you can't, you can't you know. Ukraine Ukrainian drones eat Russia's Caesarean oil refinery. Regional governor says. Indian Navy twat Somali pirates from using cargo ship. Taiwanese citizen found dead after both capsized off Indonesia. 12 sentenced to jail for storming Hong Kong legislature, legislature in 2019. They were sentenced to jail. Tensions rise in Haiti as leadership remains in balance. Tesla, Tesla to raise Model Y vehicle prices by $1,000 on April 1. Uh, we can't go more than that so let's check what is trending on twitter wale edu gates is trending cheating wife boomy is trending whatsapp mtn is trending because there is problem with mtn mtn and etel there, um, there is problem with the network etel is also trending special net is trending uh starlink is trending mtn network is trending kanye west is trending trust wallet twitter is trending Boston. Manchester United Liverpool is trending, and that is all for today. Bonaboy is trending. Yaya Bello, who was uh, charged for misconduct, for fraud, you know, uh, for misappropriation of money when he was when he was ruling in Kogi State, he has been charged. So he's also trending. Yaya Bello and his uh, one of his family members, I think two or three or one of his family. Banky W is trending. So that's all for today. Uh, 16th of March 2024. Before we end this broadcast, we will be playing uh, a background video to talk about the urban nation again today. Um, let's have in mind that someone is in kidnappers then in Lagos. Uh, it was said to have been kidnapped around the Jegum area in the Limosho area. But uh, we don't think the police has confirmed that. But he has released voice notes saying they should sell whatever they need to sell to come and pay for his ransom. So that is what is going on in Nigeria. You have been tormented. Nowhere is safe. Nowhere is safe in Yoruba land. Nowhere is safe in Ibola. Nowhere is safe in northern Nigeria. Everywhere is not safe. And we keep saying Nigeria is good. Nigeria is great and everything. This country is no longer. Go, you kill me. This country was, you know, was was put together with the blood of some some innocent people, and may their soul rest in power and their energy return stronger to people that are fighting for freedom, revolution, uh, Yoruba nation, and every other thing. You know, uh, every freedom is still freedom fight. So, before we go, let's play. Uh, let's play this uh, once again. Let's play this.
Hello, Django. Django. Pe a won gbugbu awon eyin wa. Django, please call all the people that they can borrow us big money. What they need is 200 million. 200 million is between life and death. If to say anything I can sell to refund their money, I will sell it when I'm back. I will sell all my property to refund their money. This is between life and death. What they are requirement is 200 million. Please, please, it's not a joke. Call everybody, borrow me money, go and take money from anybody you can get money. 200 million, that is their requirement. Please, and this between life and death. Call all my children that they should say get money. Call my sister and brothers. Their requirement is 200 million. Please, please, their your guy is just a very nice person to me. Has been so lenient to me. Please, 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 Django, please, run around, please. Hello, Django. Hello, Django. Please, please, don't report this case to police. Don't report this case to police. Don't let police put any mouth. Don't go to police for anything. Please, my life is very important. Whatever amount I spend, I, I, I can sell any property to pay back. I will sell my property to pay back. Please, I've called Body the Gov. Call Body the Gov now. Call Body Best. Call Sarulaj. Call Labayomi. Call Nino. Call Jumoke. Call uh, Niji. Niji. Call Ayo. Call everybody that you know they can give us money now. Now. Please, and I'm warning again, please don't report this case to police. It cannot help. You understand? We just need to, if we give money, my life will be spared. My life will be spared. So please, and okay, please, and they are waiting to hear from you as urgent as possible. Please, please, Django, please spare my life. My life is very important. I can set a step to a uh, market hospital to go and set that place. And you go and go and meet Sam. Sam upstairs, the, the, the tenant upstairs. Go and meet him. I have four, almost four million naira with him. Go and collect it. I tell him to give it to you. So please go around and get money. Call Abayo. I call Abayo. We are about to send money. We are to send money. You get. Call my brother. Don't say will you be your brother. We are fighting. Call Kayo. My brother. See no brother. And see Dupe. Call off for all of them. Their money is very important at this stage. Please. Please, it's between life and death. It's between life and death. Please. So that is uh, that is that. Let's play the next. Uh, we're using this medium to demand the release of Nabi Kanu, uh, as our father has demanded uh, in February before the end of February. Release Nabi Kanu. Stop politics. This guy didn't do anything. Today is 27 February 2024. Release him. Let him go and stay with his family. This guy just fights for his people in the southeast. Like me, I'm fighting for my people in the Yoruba land. Release him. Let him go. Stop uh, politics game. Release Kano. Let him go home. Please, release him. Okay. <laughs> that is what is going on in Nigeria. Uh, so, uh, this is what we keep saying to people. There is a future in Nigeria. There is no future as far as Nigeria is concerned. People will keep suffering. The government will continue to tell you lies. Uh, oh, we're going to fix this. Uh, we are bringing investors. Uh, the country is going to be, uh, be be fine again. Uh, don't give up. Uh, keep praying. Keep hoping in God. And they, they, they start going to pastors and imam to tell you to pray and everything. Uh, we are not telling you not to pray, but it's just up to you to fight for your freedom. So that is what the country is facing right now. Um, the solution to Nigeria's problem is the total disintegration, total dissolution that is the solution to Nigeria's problem. Let's listen to this. All I have to say that the country is bad already. We are suffering and smiling. No food, no money, petrol costs. So why do you expect me to tell government to do? They should get off. Fuck them. Fuck government. Hey. 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 Hey.
we we'll listen to this once again. You know, we we'll listen to this once again. And before we end the broadcast, we'll be playing um, the Yoruba Nation anthem. But before the Yoruba Nation anthem, we we'll also play uh, one of the Yoruba Nation music that we all know. Let's listen to this again. <laughs> to say that the country is bad already. We are suffering and smiling. No food, no money, petrol cost. So why do you expect me to tell government to do? They should get off. Fuck them. Fuck government. So that is all about that. Let's play the Yoruba Nation music that we all know before we play the anthem of Yoruba Nation. But let's just have in mind that a Yoruba nation will restore the value of Yoruba people uh, because Yoruba has already lost its value. Yoruba has lost its value. Not only Yoruba, the other indigenous people in Nigeria have lost their values. Uh, as far as we are saying, Nigeria, we have lost, we have lost our value except we return back to our uh, region to, 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 to govern ourselves, to, to, to just to, to disintegrate this country and, and you know, control our sources alone and our, ourselves and do uh it is our right you know it's our right so let's go let's go to the next to, to play let's play just play this let's play this music at the background the vanishing music Uh, thank you very much for joining us. Let's play two more music before we end the broadcast today. Quick media, Shokan. Ishokan, lo le mu wa de le le ri. Agbajo wa, agbajo wa la fin so ya. Oh kan, lo le mu wa doke. Kashira wa lo kan omo yoruba. Oh, yeah. 